What is going on guys, another match day vlog. I really do apologize for my hair, it's kind of shit right now. But we are at the wonderful Richmond Park tonight. Um, Bows are not playing this Friday night, they're playing tomorrow on Saturday. And don't worry, I'm going up. So today we are here at Richmond Park for the Battle of St. Patrick for our new arch enemies, Finn Harps. What am I predicting today? I'm gonna go for a, uh, it's tough, because you know, uh, I've seen Finn Harps last week, and they seem to get goals out of nothing, as in literally, Nothing and um, Pats have been do put putting on good performances in recent weeks, they've been clawing themselves out of a relegation zone. So, I'm gonna go for a bit of a mad one. I'm gonna go for a 2 2 draw here. Oh, take about Harv. What? Oh, that black guy from last week, I cannot remember his name, but he's thank you, thank you, my friend. Eddie Hassan basically tore us a new one last week, but uh. Doesn't look like he's going to be causing too much trouble tonight with the mighty Jordy Bollock. Jordy Bollock is the greatest player to ever grace this ground. Except for early on in the season when Diddy Corker and Georgie Poyton took a couple in the back of the net. Josh. Come on, Josh. Come over a second, Josh. Oh, it's a lovely play. Looks like it's going to go on the end line. Unlucky. Great move by St. Pat. Of course, ends the goal kick. Another goal kick for Vinner. Feels like he's been about the 100th one this game. And more like the fourth. He says, keeper. Keeper. It doesn't look too confident on the ball, actually. I don't even think that was confident. It worked out well in the end. Oh, lovely chest control. Come on, not, not Megan, not Megan. I'm kind of worried to say tonight just because of what happened last week. I really don't like Finn Harps anymore. I was kind of just up to the little guy before. Because Finn Harps were that little guy. But now I just hate Finn Harps. It's Pats pushing with Desmond. Cross in. Head it down. Oh, Oh my god, he should have gone for goal. He tried to head it down to Josh O'Hanlahan in the middle. And he really should have gone for goal. Finn, yeah, basically, yeah. Just, no, it's just saying, put me yeah. in there for you. Lack of communication, and Finn Harp to get away with that one. Graham Kelly scored for St. Pat's. They lead, taking a one nil lead. It'll send their hardcore fans down there. Oh, Finn's a chance that we are staying up. It's doing really well at the moment. It's well, you what? If we win our Dublin Derby matches, we say. There you go. Well, hopefully, we won't win the one at Dayman Park anyway. We can win the rest of them. <laughs> but my friend wants to go to Dayman. He doesn't like football at all, but he wants to go to Dayman in particular. He's been here. He's been in. Book a list. Well, it's 1 0 St. Pat's. So, Danny Man's getting renovated. Yeah, it is, yeah. So we may as well go a long, well, let's go, let's go, go a long, long way for Pat to gain safety. Graham Kelly with the goal, 1 0 Pat's. It was a lovely move as well. Lovely bit of pass, and he sticks it past Gallagher. Let's tackle it really nice. St. Pat's the second goal. Here we go again. Danny on the ball. Oh, okay. oh destroys the poor fella. He's coming in the box. Oh my god. Go for goal at that angle, you fool. Harper's get it away. Easy in the keeper's hands. The young players in cricket get to do all sorts of hand gestures. He's just see him there. <laughs> Jesus. Oh! Second corner, quick succession. I think they're going back post because of the head up. Head up! Oh! Away! Go! Oh! Oh! Just about cleared. Another corner. How did that stop the win? Harps keep themselves alive in this game. I mean, Mac already were literally seconds into the second half and just off the line. They escape with one there. Well, Finn Harps, too, anyway. I should have mentioned that earlier on. Oh, Finn Harps. Oh, they've released the ball. Release, release. Who's the pitch? That's not going to go anywhere. Because Bollock has it, and Bollock's a beast. It's St. Pat's going all the way down there now. See the away end? It's completely empty there. Usually when, um, usually when there's not many away fans here, they stick them in the corner there where you can kind of see the blue. I don't know if you guys can see it. Well, I can see it. Where you can kind of see the blue. That's, that's where the away fans will see if there's not many of them. That's the case of Finn Harps. But usually if there's a big bunch, they say Dundalk, Bowes, Rovers. They'll have that away end down there. And trust me, it's fucking beautiful watching football down there. Especially when you're in. Plus, from the same fans, they start playing some decent football. Give it bollock. Beautiful man. Beautiful man. Both teams are playing. And smashed back to the goalkeeper. That was pretty pointless. 
If both teams are going eight or nine at the back, then there's yeah. going to be no attack and play. Very true. Uh, Very true. Because we're defending quite heavily now. Yeah, we're it's all of in arms. They go long ball when they need to. Like, but like, well, even when, well, when Pats are attacking though, they're trying to play a bit of football. Yeah, we, but when, we, Finn, yeah. when Finn Harps are attacking, they just, it's just hoof it up the pitch. Hoof it up the pitch. Well, going, and hope Keita and Desane win it. There you go, see what I mean? <laughs> As in, if Keita and Desane are running for it, they're not going to win. Desane has Finn Harps' best chance in the game. And he headers it wide. Number 99, in fact. This is, this was far hard best and it was a long ball. That could be a lovely ball in. Blue ball played in there, crossed into the middle. He was there and heads it wide. Jesus. For a striker, that's not a great finish. It's his best chance of the night. And he literally basically I have no idea how to describe that miss, so it's pretty terrible. Beautiful skill. Somebody trying to push him for a Shoot! Oh, oh. I'm not sure that was an unbelievable swerve or took a massive deflection. But Murphy has it straight a safely in his hands. Just a killer chance to equalise. Penalty area madness. The ball literally comes to him and he knocks it wide. Another guilt edge chance missed by Finn Harps. So about 10, maybe 12 minutes left. And Finn Harps could easily get a goal, but so could St. Pat's. It's so, it's so up and down in the second half. You still really know what's going to happen. The beauty of the League of Ireland is magic. Yeah, yeah. I say the game's been so up and down, and then even come in it. Say Pats go get a second with Curtis Bird tapping it in for two 0 Former Bows man, so good he drops it. Oh, Jesus! They need to get a go back in hearts. Anyway, it's two nil to St. Patrick now. The win fury is there. I can't see Ben Hobbs going back from this. People are pretty confident they've got the win. This place is starting to go off. It's two nil to St. Pat's. Game signed and sealed. They're on the way to safety surely. The kick shoving the back. Free kick out in a meaningless area. There was no foul needed. Keep a free kick. Help out Barry by the way. Help out Barry, the keeper. Oh red! What are we saying? What are we saying? Off for? Desane, he must have been giving him a stick. Oh, shit! I don't even know what he was saying. What was he sent off for? No, he, we presume he was giving shit to the referee. Yeah, he, he wasn't. Yeah, your man dived. Like, let's be real here. Michael Bergman just took a dive from that crack as well. I have no idea why he died, why he was sent off there. We're guessing he's giving shit to the ref. The two guards, guards, guards. The two burns, burns, burns. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, top in for St. Pat's to make it 3 0. Curtis Burn again. You didn't you barely saw it coming. Blue ball in, tapped into the back of the net. Bit of a mix up in the harps and then so it's just the rain near the same pass. We oh, are there's a line up, around here, especially with this up. guy. We are staying up. Say we are staying up. Donate now. Don't forget about Peter House. Donate now. Save. Uh, there you go, it's 3 0 St. Patrick. The face kind of going off. Master step towards safety. Game over. 4 0 to St. Patrick. It's now a rout. It's an absolute destruction of Finn Harps. 4 0. Can you add him and even? Cries if we are staying up from around. Finn Harps absolutely bamboozled. Why couldn't we have done this last week? Fuck me. It's 4 0 to Finn Harps. Uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, sorry, yeah, 4 0. Two hats. It's 4 0 to Finn Harps against Finn Harps. Fuck me, why couldn't both have done this last week? Harps have been fucking shy. 4 0. An absolute rout here. You can hear them still going off. It feels like 4 0 in the end. An absolute destruction. A master three points for St. Patrick's Athletic. On their way to safety. 4 0. Two by Curtis Byrne. One by Liam Kelly. I can't, didn't, didn't see about the other one. But I know it was in the back of that. Very poor defending by Finnards for the last three goals. They just cut apart for the first one. Finnards really didn't deserve anything from this game, to be honest. Um, Pats totally deserved it. They were looking to play football. All Finnards were up and down for the whole game. They basically smashed it down to Keita and to Stanley and hoped they'd run onto it and get it, get it in for it. They didn't. Ball. Buck was a master of that back four the whole night. Didn't let any of the Finnards forwards, any of the Finnards players have a bite of the cherry whatsoever. 
great team performance by St. Patrick's United. The crowd is literally going on there. Pretty loud, pretty excited. They claim this victory. As I said, massive, massive three points in a hope for survival here in Shakur. They go into the cup next. Finar Barros are also into the cup next week. Uh, this is the end from Intercore, finishing 4-0 to St. Patrick Lennox. Tomorrow's the big one. Bows and Limerick, I'll see you there.